Hi, welcome to LSAT Freedom. This is a Founders Focus and this uh, discussion is about the law school crisis. There's a lot of uh, information in the press about law school is just not worth it. People are taking out a huge amount of loans and then a lot of students are finding themselves in a predicament where there's just not the job market out there to make it an economical decision. So what are, what are your guys' thoughts on, on, on this problem? Well, I, first and foremost, it, this problem is a, it's a temporary problem. I mean, we're, we're in, some people say, the deepest recession in 80 years. So uh, if you have the dream of going to law school, I, I wouldn't say throw it away just because we're in this uh, deep uh, economic recession. Um, it, it is temporary. Keep doing what you're doing, and, and eventually we'll get out of this, and the opportunities will, will increase. I would agree in large part, and also add that a lot of these figures and articles and things that we've seen in the media have been overblown. If you look at the legal profession over a long period of time, it's always been a profession where you know you seek training for a period of years and then learn the craft and then uh, create uh, money on your own. So the fact that there's a limited amount or less amount of jobs available now uh, isn't really a, a huge problem that it's uh, made out to be. Well, I think that um, you, you know you do see a lot of kind of fourth tier law schools charging a huge amount of money, and I think there's schools in in New York, I think Brooklyn Law School, or some of these other places, they're charging more than Harvard and Stanford, and their students are get end up deeply in debt, and that they don't have as many opportunities. And so I think to the extent that that this problem is real, I think it's a function of people not getting into selective schools or even moderately selective schools, and to me, the single most telling reason as to why they don't end up in a selective school is because they didn't do very well in the LSAT. And if you're somebody who's getting below the 50 percentile in the 140s, and then you're gonna be taking out $50,000 in loan to go to a fourth tier school, you are the type of person who may find that yourselves in a little bit more difficulty. So for me, for people thinking about going to law school, I think they need to really think about the LSAT and understand how critical that could be because if you're in a fourth tier school versus like a school that's maybe in the top 50, there's a world of difference in terms of your investment and the return on your investment in that respect. I, I think that's a great point, uh, Ron. Uh, just because we're in this, in this, this economic uh, uh, you know, situation, it, it doesn't mean you can't overcome it and the LSAT is, is one particular way that uh, you can overcome this problem. If you, if you do well in the LSAT, if you prepare for the LSAT, um, you can get into a, a, one of these top tier schools or, 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 or above average school and that increases the likelihood that you will get um, a, a good paying job once you uh, get out of law school and you'll overcome a lot of these issues that um, a lot of law, law school graduates are facing today. All right, well thanks for watching uh, Founders Forum and Check us out on YouTube because we'll have a lot more to say about other topics.